and then uh, there were things like we had like um team building activities but when you swim at a national center when there's less than 10 of you um that's obviously quite difficult uh, if there's one like especially if there's people that you don't get on with there's one athlete that's been bullying me for quite a few years um and just knows how to wind me up to the point where I can't cope anymore and then obviously I ended up having to go at this athlete and then it looks bad on me and it's just obviously it's frustrating so I'd rather avoid those situations um why are they doing that I think I think they want the team spirit and I think they think that it's the way of getting that but obviously because they didn't know I was autistic they didn't realize how detrimental to my mental health that's been and it has that was one of the the biggest things for years I had so much anxiety like sometimes um there was one occasion like that they wanted us to go to one of the swimming flats and I just wasn't comfortable but they kept pushing and pushing and pushing and saying no you need to go I was like well I don't feel comfortable going um and I ended up sitting I got two outside the swimming flats um and the athletes um obviously had to wait for them to get home just walk past me and ignore me and I don't want to be there anyway. So I literally was sat in a really bad like rainstorm, typical Manchester, like checking it down, like literally just really anxious and crying, just sat in the street like for hours. Um, and I was just, that was kind of one of the turning points. It's like, I can't be doing that again. Um, and I kind of came a bit more stern then that if someone's like, oh, you need to go and do this for social interaction. I was like, no, but it's one of those where it's, you're worried. Like when it's, when you swim, especially when you swim at a natural center, your coach is a GB coach, all the support staff are GB, so they know what you're doing. And if you refuse to do something, it's always that worry. Luckily, it doesn't happen now, but like previously, if you didn't want to do something, they'd be like, oh, well, you know, we can take your funding off you. Mm. Um, but because that's happened previously, I know it wouldn't happen now. It's always in my head. Yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely. absolutely never forgotten. So it's yeah. all, I always felt pressured like, oh, well, um, that will mean like I'm not adhering to the, the rules of Raw and I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. And and it made me like super, super anxious to the point where that couple of other things like my mental health was just really, really bad. And I didn't really know how to get through it. Um, 